Hey, what's going on, everybody? Shane here from Vulgar Display Gaming in my wonderful, wonderful studio again. Uh, coming at you with uh, trying to catch up on some shows I've been to. I went to about, I think, six in the past, like, three weeks. A lot of shows. And I just want to go over uh, one of them right now, which was the Llama God Incendiary Kubicon show after Sick New World. I know this is kind of late on it, but I was so exhausted after Sick New World. I was like, ah, I need to do one more video, and I just kind of kept putting it off. But I'll start off with saying that uh, me and the girlfriend were so fucking tired that we went and got a table because it was at the House of Blues. House of Blues at the Mandalay Bay in Vegas is pretty small, for, especially for this show with I'm a god headlining. Like, it was packed solid, so we're like, we got there early. We're like, we want a fucking table. Granted, I stood during the sets to sit down <laughs> in between because my feet were fucking killing me, you know? But let's start it off with uh, Incendiary Kicked Ass. If you don't know who Incendiary is, a New York hardcore band um, in the style of I, me, I think they got a lot of uh, Rage Against the Machine influence. Uh, to the singing aspect of it. Then uh, the Warriors and another band, Indecision. Um, just good, hardcore, fucking heavy riffs. Uh, again, the Rage Against the Machine comes into the vocal style, I believe. Like, they kind of, it's kind of not, you know, it's kind of a, a flow, the way he sings. Yeah, the singer, Brendan, uh, it's, I had pulled it up, Garone, uh, his vocal styling is kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me like the way Zax De La Rocha sings. But anyway, Incendiary is a good fucking hardcore band from Long Island, New York. Check them out. Here's some clips. <laughs> And moving on, we had another hardcore band representing from the state of Texas, which was fucking Kublai Khan. Now, I've seen Kublai Khan before. I never saw Incendiary, so I'll go back to that and say Incendiary kicked ass again. Um, but Kublai Khan, I've seen about... This was my second time seeing Kublai Khan, and they fucking bring it every fucking time. If you, like... This one thing I love about uh, hardcore is it's just violent, positive lyrics. And it's just so funny to me. Because you think they'd be singing about some, like, fucked up shit, but... Well, half the time they are, but then it's like, hey, love yourself, or fucking help somebody else, or this is a song to fucking get yourself back up again. So, you know, positive affirmations with Kublai Khan. Uh, check them out. Listen to all... Look at their lyrics and everything. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. And the singer, the whole band's nice, but I met Matt, the singer. He's fucking super nice. Definitely check out Kublai Khan. So here's some tip... Tip, bleh, bleh. Here's some clips. Let's go.
And then wrapping up this whole entire experience was none other than Lamb of God. Lamb of God, fucking everybody knows who they are. They fucking kick ass. But it was so much better seeing them in a smaller setting, I feel. Because I've pretty much only seen them when they become an arena band. So, so the first time seeing... I've seen them over like ten times. I've seen them a shit ton of times. But seeing them in a small club like this was just something surreal. And like that entire place was fucking moving. Like... I don't know. I fucking love Lamb of God. They were one of the first bands I ever saw live. I followed them ever since. Last, I'd say two albums. I eh, there's hits and misses on them uh, for me personally, but I think they're one of the biggest uh, metal bands right now. And as you can see from these clips we're about to play, uh, you probably agree with me or you don't. I don't really care. But anyway, let's wrap this all up with some more Lamb of God clips. And then until next time, I got some more shows coming up. Later. <laughs>